Have you been avoiding engine compression testing because of the time it takes to remove the spark or glow plugs? If you could compare cylinder pressure values before lifting a spanner, would you give it a go? Hi, I'm Clint. You can discover all about relative compression testing and how easy it is in Automate's latest training module. Here's a quick teaser of what you'll see. Before performing a relative compression test on an engine, we need to prevent it from starting during crank. This is no different from when we perform a mechanical compression test. The best way to disable the engine is to remove the fuel source. This is as easy as removing a fuel pump fuse or relay, and then running the engine until it stops. Next, we'll connect the current clamp to either the battery positive or negative cable. Make sure the clamp is facing in the correct direction, as indicated. If we don't do this, the trace will be inverted when displayed on the scope. Connect the clamp to the first channel and then power the scope up. Most petrol or gasoline powered vehicles will draw around 400 amps on initial crank, with diesels slightly higher. To find out more and access the most advanced technical training available, visit our website and unlock your automotive potential today.